So there are eight cognitive functions. Most of us, if you're at my channel, you already know that. Each of the 16 types, we, when we think of what is responsibility, we are taking responsibility most likely for the functions that we um, honor ourselves. And whenever we think about what it means to be responsible, we might be seeing other people who do not use the same cognitive functions as us as being irresponsible because we are noticing that there is a huge chunk of their psyche that they are not taking responsible for, that they are completely blind to. And I'm sure no matter what type you are, if you look out into the world, you think about, you, you can think things like everybody else doesn't seem to understand X, Y, and Z, and I'm just not sure why they can't get it through their thick skull and realize this thing, right? And the thing is, is that we're all that way. We all take our cognitive functions for granted because this is an area of the psyche that we over identify with and over inflate the importance of, but it also means that we are able to see through other people who have left this area of the psyche to, they've just hung it out to dry. It is deep into the shadow. So if you're interested in what responsibility means to you based on your personality or your cognitive functions, please join me August 22nd at 2 p.m. Central Time. If you'd like to join my membership group, we have a discussion every month where we talk about various topics and discuss how the cognitive functions um, have to do with that topic. So that link is below if you're interested in that. Today in this video, I'm going to be talking mostly about FI and TI. Um, I think this is because since both FI and TI are subjective functions, they are introverted judging functions, no matter what type you are, you are going to over identify with one of these more than the other, whether FI or TI is high up in your stack or not. So just in case you're new, as a little refresher here, all of the FP types have introverted feeling or FI as high up in their ego. ENFP, ESFP, INFP, and ISFP. While they really take responsibility for their own emotions because introverted feeling is, it views feelings or values and ethical judgments, it views that through the lens of the subject. So whenever an FP is thinking about, I need to take responsibility here, they're thinking that they need to make sure that they are um, aware of their own emotions so that it's not creating problems for anybody else around them. And so that their emotions are not obstructing them from uh, doing what they need to get done in life. They don't want to be childish to that, to them, it is childish to ignore your emotions and then let them impact you in ways that you aren't aware of or have you impact other people because you failed to acknowledge your own emotions and process them. So it's interesting because an FP, they do not have strong interpretive thinking. So they might not be the most logically consistent. They might change their minds a lot. They might seem hypocritical. But to them, if you are an FP, you are making sure that you are responsible for keeping your emotions in check so that your, your emotions are not being flung onto everybody else around you. And you don't want to be projecting your shit and your baggage onto anybody else. You hold that close to your heart. And to be responsible is to pretty much keep that shit under wraps. Whereas if we're going to be talking, uh, well, before I move on to TI, I'll just say that um, all of the TJ types, so ESTJ, ENTJ, ISTJ, and INTJ, they have extroverted feeling, or no, they have introverted feeling later on in their stack. So they also have FI in their cognitive stack it is just something that is more vulnerable and weaker for them. Uh, but they do 
also, whenever they're thinking about responsibility, um, whenever they want to take responsibility for their identity, it does boil down to this FI um, subjective emotional realm. So both TJs and FPs are going to want to keep their emotions under wraps and under control so that whenever it comes to the external world of logic, um, their emotions aren't impacting their ability to be efficient and get things done. They, their inner world can be as dramatic as possible so long as it is not creating a burden or a problem in their um, able to get things done and get what they want out of life. So now moving on to introverted thinking. Um, TI is a high function um, in the ego of the ISTP, INTP, ESTP, and ENTP. And for FJs, TI is lower down on their stack and is a more vulnerable function for them. Uh, for all of the TPs, uh, they really want to uh, live with a sort of logical integrity. Both FI and TI are about integrity, but in different ways. And so it gets really messy whenever an FP and a TP might both believe that they are living in their integrity, but from the other person's view, they are not in integrity because they are not taking responsibility for the other aspect of their identity. So uh, TPs might want to make sure that they are sticking to their word logically and that all of their behavior logically tracks with the same worldview. And they, they want to make sure that in all of their decisions, they are taking the action that is aligned with their, um, what makes sense in the situation. They don't want their emotions to ever influence um, their critical thinking. And so when the way that TI and FE works together is that FE is taking responsibility for the emotional impact that they could create at the expense of their own personal emotions. Whereas TE is wanting to take responsibility for all of the external problems that need to be solved in the external world whereas TI is wanting to take responsibility for their truth and also what they are able to actually fix. So for TP, it is the responsible thing to do to almost ignore your personal emotional reactions in order to view the problem in an objective way to where you can really dive deep into what the problem is and figure out all of the pieces whether or and not think about how those pieces are going to impact you but instead think about the logical integrity of what it is that you are solving so a tp at a job for example might will want to do the absolute best job and take themselves of whether or not I am going to get a raise or whether or not this would make me look good or whatever. They would want to take that completely out of the equation and instead focus on the integrity of the work that they're doing and the quality assurance of everything that they're doing. Whereas FPs can kind of get out of control emotionally in their own inner world at the expense of their logical consistency uh, and which might make them hypocritical, might make them unable to think or process correctly because they are busy dealing with uh, their own inner baggage. Whereas TPs might completely um, ignore their inner baggage because they don't want their baggage to influence their critical thinking. So <laughs> it's such a paradox here because there's not one right way or in one wrong way. Um, but I do think that a lot of the um, miscommunications and arguments that happen are because people are looking at completely different things. When you're asking yourself, like, is this person living in their integrity? 
that is a different question based on if you are using FI and TE or if you're using TI and FE. Whereas a TI and FE user is going to want to make sure that they are being true to themselves and not um, going against the way that they know that they naturally operate. Both TI and FE or both TI and FI are identity functions. Whereas to go against it feels like you're not being true to you. For an FI user to ignore their own emotional reaction in a situation would feel like they're not being true to them. Even if the FI user ends up being petty or holding a grudge or brooding or being too moody in order to look at the problem objectively. Uh, for the FP, they are taking responsibility for the fact that an emotion came up and that it's their responsibility to deal with it as it comes up. So for an FP, being in your room, listening to sad music with a sheet over your head might be the most responsible thing that you can do if a negative emotion is coming up because you know that if you don't deal with that, then that's going to bleed into everything that you do. Whereas a TP might find that incredibly irresponsible whenever you have other things that need to get done, whenever you are not being as productive or whenever you are forgetting to do the dishes or like anything else uh, that needs to get done in your life. Um, a TP is not gonna want to let their emotions get in the way of their, um, get in the way of their ability to be efficient in life and their ability to do the right thing. They're still gonna wanna make sure that they can think through each thing and bring their most um, objective detached viewpoint um, when, uh, when making a decision. So that's just a taste of it. Um, obviously, like I'm not an FP or a TP. And so you guys, please comment below and let me know your experience. What do you take responsibility for? For me as an FJ, I overly take responsibility for the ways that other people react to me. And I'm learning that I need to start to begin. I, I have been through this process of taking more responsibility for my TI. And so I can somewhat relate to the TPs, but not quite. And that my journey of, I have been taking too much responsibility for the ways that I emotionally impact others. So now I'm learning, how can I stay true to my truth, despite the fact that I might accidentally um, create an emotional impact for others? Because if I'm being responsible to my truth, then it's not my responsibility if somebody else um, has an emotional impact about my truth. So for FJs, for example, we, it is correct to take responsibility for your emotional impact, but if you add a little bit of TI to the mix, and make sure that you are staying true to yourself logically and you are being consistent with your own integrity and your own higher truth, uh, the truth of who you are, then that's all you really can do. You know, if somebody else is emotionally reactive to your truth, you can't really change your truth you can change the way that you express your truth. And that's what FE does all the time whenever FE adds some tact or adds a little bit of uh, grease to or some oil in the machine or something. If you think of TI as the cogs and FE as like some grease making the machine run smoother. I mean, us FE users, we know that we can say things in a way that might make things land better, but it, we can't do that to the extent to that we are denying our truth. Whereas for FI and TE, um, you, you can't like, you guys, FPs are like overly taking responsibility to, for their emotions to the point where they might be actually emotionally reacting to somebody's truth to the extent where they aren't able to accept that that's just somebody's truth. So hopefully that makes sense a little bit. I've been thinking a lot about how FI and TI 
can really rub against each other, but that they don't actually have to be aggressive toward each other. Um, because TI is able to make a more detached, have a more detached understanding of what is true for you while taking the emotions out of it that might be swaying you based on, you know, a lack of resources or some baggage that has not been unpacked or something that you desire. TI can look at what's true at you, of you despite all of that and stick true or stick to that despite how you feel about it. And that's very noble in, in and of itself. And FE and TI can accept the truth of somebody else without expecting anything in return one, because once it can accept the TI truth of who they are. Um, but FI, while it wants to take responsibility for its own emotions and always process them and handle them, it might not know how to take responsibility for living in a logical integrity, creating a system for yourself in the way that you think that actually fits the way that you are and the way that you operate. Because I notice a lot of FPs can get stuck in this trap of where every single time something comes up emotionally, they feel the need to brood on it and they aren't able to ever use the TI that would be required to look at what is causing all of these emotional blowups and how can you change the way that you're living so that you aren't um, kind of creating this system or this cycle of blow ups because you aren't living in a way that's true to you. So for example, an FP might have a job that is really triggering to them in some way that honestly creates a lot of moments where they uh, kind of want to blow up internally and they need some time to process, but really what could change is they can make a logical change in their life in order to prevent some of those uh, blow ups. But a lot of times FPs, they don't know how to think straight in that moment to make the change. They aren't able to look at themselves in a detached enough way to make that change. So instead, they just cater to their emotions and wait for it to blow over. And it could be self-sabotage in a way where they're torturing themselves by not living, not taking responsibility for like the way that you're living. So this is all really paradoxical stuff here because it's very hard to put into words because both FI and TI can get the same thing accomplished. Um, both of these judging axes can get the same thing accomplished, but they're looking at it through a different lens. So hopefully uh, this little um, chat can give a sense of some of the blind spots of areas of life that you don't feel um, like you're taking full responsibility for. Um, if you are interested in having a discussion, uh, join us on Saturday. That link's below. I also offer typing services. I offer one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching. And if you have any questions about cognitive functions, you just want to pick my brain, I also offer consulting. So thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like this, subscribe. Let me know your type and how you relate to this concept in the comments below. And yeah, have a wonderful rest of your day.